Zombie Apocalypse, Black Goo, and Dark Matter. And do they have anything in common? And could you perhaps say that um, Black Goo and or Dark Matter is a type of an alien parasitic-like life form? Um, that has perhaps had an effect on other civilizations as a whole and why the interest in it is black goo itself a life form an alien life form I think we might have touched on this before but um, with talk of the zombie apocalypse and other things, I think we should look into the black goo, the zombie apocalypse, and the dark matter. I will not be looking at the comments because I don't have my cell phone up here, but I will come over here and um, uh, make sure that we're over here. I'm going to let you see the screen. This. Um, is not um, going out that fast but that's okay you I'm gonna put it right here to me I'm going to go over here and um, this is not a interesting topic but that's all right I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this right here so an introduction to black goo an introduction to black goo most mysterious substance and intelligent liquid crystal video I'm not going to watch that I'm not but I'll tell you what I will do let me put this on me I will open up a sticky note uh, while I'm on here and um, if I have one to even see um, that's about right I can't even find one oh my gosh you all can't even find the sticky notes in my thing right here they should be somewhere on here but I can't find them they must have got removed from my um, thing black goo I found it I'm just gonna open up a sticky note just one and I'm going to um, okay I've got it opened I'm gonna I'm gonna type in these uh, things on here that's what I'm going to do that way I can include them also because I haven't um, got any of this planned out yet I don't but I can guarantee you we're going to look into this because there's something to it so introduction to black goo the most mysterious substance and intelligent liquid crystal video I'm not going to look at it so um, why would they say this is um, 2018 one of the most mysterious objects in the world is black goo, which is an intelligent liquid crystal found largely in remote places of Parag Paraguay, Thule Island, and under the Gulf of Mexico. If the myths are to believe, this substance is used to communicate with demons. If it is meant to, if it's meant to be believed, um, yeah. Hello there, a uh, good morning, WB um, Blue Sky. We got you as our only commenter. Um, for some strange reason, they're not letting people in here. That's okay, you all. This is a very important video, it is. And um, I'm going to come back over here to this black goo right here. I'm not going to push the video, but um, you can look at it. I'm going to put the link on it down here on this area right here. Max, hello. Yeah. And um, so you can look at it. It's uh, under the Gulf of Mexico. So that's really interesting. Black goo. All right, let's do this and make sure we're on here. That's what I wanted to look up at first. And you know, look what comes up automatically in the searches. The strange substance that seems to have intelligence. Oh, so this is... Um, this was September of 2020, Alien Ancient Science. 
as the title suggests, it appears to be intelligent. So let's look at this. It can affect people and destroy people. It's uh, made up of monatomic gold and monatomic iridium, neither of which actively forms on our planet. Well, how come it doesn't actively form on our planet? See, that's a good question. Let me, um, let me put this here in the live stream so you all can see. And again, if you're just tuning in, um, there's not a lot of comments being allowed in here. And um, I guess there's probably a reason for it. That's all right. Let's listen to this. The monatomic goad is mentioned in the Bible in Genesis verse 2 and verse 12. And what's even stranger is that the Bush family owns a ton of property around the deposits of similar strange substances. A river flowed from the land of Eden, watering the garden and then dividing into four branches. The first branch is called Pishon, flowed around the entire land of Havilah, where the goat is found. The goat of that land is exceptionally pure, aromatic resin. Pure aromatic resin and onyx stone are also found there. The second branch called Gihon flowed from the entire land of Cush. The third branch called the Tigris flowed uh, east of the land of Ashur and the fourth branch is called the Euphrates. Angela Merkel was spotted near the black goo deposit as they both seemed interested. Now, I, I will not play this video, but um, I will put the link here for you all to go check it out. I will, um, because you may want to look at it. You really might want to look at it. I might want to look at it, but I will not look at it on here for obvious reasons. Um, that's all right. It's quite all right, you all. We are going to... Um, look at this we are thank you for coming on here so um that's all they had on it right there so let me come off of here so that was one thing the black goo look at this look how this finger print has these things on it that's really strange we also find um, black goo egyptian funerary ritual residue uh, world history lab um, that's where we're going. And we're going to come into this, you all. We are. There's something with the black goo. And um, I don't know what they're doing. Let's look at it. Okay, I'll allow it. Doesn't matter at this point. The black goo Egyptian funerary ritual residues. Um, bodies were mummified, wrapped in linen. Um... Then a bucket full of black goo was thrown over the top, and not everybody got the goo treatment, but it occurs occasionally throughout the New Kingdom and into the following period. Um, they received some, only received a splash on the face, <coughs> excuse me, while others were um, poured into them that they were cemented in their coffins. So black goo, even in the um coffins that's fine okay so um did i i think i i might have put this here you all think we've got this in here we got this in here that's great let's go to um another one let's go back it's only going to show it a couple of these then you got this um grotesque picture right here mystery of the sentient black Goo. Why would she want to even bathe her body in this black goo? Why would um, she do a video in this black goo? Um, and then we have Star Trek showing um, black goo as a life form. Okay, we have that. Just want to make sure we're on here. You have other things right here. Hmm. Some say, you know, it's the 666, the black glue. You have these aliens. Humans are morphing. What's inside? What is the goo made of? You can go check that out yourself. You all look at that. Why are they showing it in people's eyes? I, I wonder why they would do that. Um, why would they show that? Okay. Why would they show any of this? You all? That's kind of gross. It really does kind of gross me out, but that's fine. 
what I, I do want to go is look at this article that I found on the black goo. If you're just tuning in, um, thank you for tuning in. Um, the Venom from Spider-Man. Yeah, the Venom from Spider-Man. Now that could um, also be something you all. Look at that. We only have a very few people in the chat. Um, then we have 99 people and 19 likes you all. Please um, click light on this uh, video. Hello, we're going to try to go through here really somewhat fast. Let's do this. So this is 2016. A strange black goo rains down on Michigan town. Harrison Township, the mysterious substance remained on outdoor surfaces through Wednesday when the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality officials, officials collected it. You can see it right there. A city in Michigan is perplexed after a tar-like substance rained down on their cars, porches, and driveways this week. The black, oily substance was first appeared on six driveways in Harrison Township. Days later, the material still remains a mystery. The Michigan Department of Environmental Quality officials collected samples. Uh, the fire chiefs said that it's not bird droppings and it's not flammable. Well, it's not flammable. That's really interesting. Uh, thank you for letting us know. The, um, everybody's concerned about the substance. And should a major concern is that the substance could potentially be harmful. Well, it could be harmful. Residents thought the substance could have come by um, Selfridge Air National Guard Base, but the base released a statement saying it was not coming from their location. There is no indication that the substance in question came from a military aircraft of any type. Um, so they have this right here. You can see it. Um, they're going to send a um, representative, this Michigan Department. So the Air Force says that you all, let's look at this. They, they want to uh, work with uh, local and state partner agencies to resolve the question. So we can do this. Let's look at this. Let's watch this video from the news. Let's see what they had to say. A dark, oily substance. If you're just coming on here, well, I guess we're going to watch it. Um, Dangerous. There's a warning from residents behind that laughter in this Harrison Township neighborhood. At least five to seven homes covered in a tar-like substance. Fairly solid, but it's uh, petroleum-based, and we don't know exactly what it is. And if a bird pooped, how in the heck would it poop like that? Lori Dennis doesn't know where it came from. Some at first wondered if it was bird droppings, but the consistency shows otherwise. Selfridge yeah. advised me to call the Fire department. Fire department responded. They came out here and made sure it was uh, safe the best they could. This neighborhood is close to Selfridge Air Base. Low flying aircraft is not unusual. They want more investigators to come out here. They also want someone to deal with this mess. Everybody's concerned about it. Uh, we'd like to know what it is and who's going to clean it up. You get government involved and every part, everybody passes the buck. So for now, the mystery continues. In Harrison Township, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. I mean, what's your concern about this substance, that it could be dangerous? Yes. Well, you're stepping on it, so. She feels that it's dangerous, and, you know, they're stepping on it. They're stepping on it. Hello, Susan B. We're talking about a black goo that fell down from the sky in Michigan. If you didn't see it, there it is right there, Harrison Township. Um, and I never heard of anything like that. But, you know, our world started changing back in 2016, big time. Um, look at this. Oh, that's me telling me welcome. Oh, let me put this down here so you all can see this. Because I was going to, um, I did this one. And um, I wanted to uh, put this one right here, too. I'm going to try to put this in a sticky note so this also can go in the description of the video uh, area. Also, let's come over here. Where's we gonna look at this? So we got all this yucky looking black goo. It is very yucky. You can see it, and it really does. They they associate this with aliens. Okay, they do. Mm, why do you want to do a video sitting in this? The stuff of dreams. Black goo. Why? Why immortal? Immortal eyes this you all why would they do that why would social media why would the media world 
do that to this. And look, it looks like, um, this looks like, um, I can forget his name, Morgan Freeman uh, in here also. Two years ago, look at this. You remember this, the symbiont? Okay. There is an entity that appears in our favorite science fiction fantasy and horror stories, a living substance that elicits both disgust and excitement in the human imagination. It's related to the bad black barf and black blood TV tropes, but while those examples are relatively inert and formless, black goo refers to a class of protein intelligent beings who can be extraordinary hard and strong when they want to. Uh, black goo will attack you like an obscurial or consume you like a symbiote. Gina, did you say uh, consume you like a symbiote, like a symbiosis with the black goo? Yes, I did. I believe that um, there are parasitic alien life forms, like I said this morning, that will take over your body. And, and they will come in many different uh, shapes, um, forms, and um, they'll take over your body. Some are translucent. And as this one right here, I, this is not make-believe, you all. It's not. It's not make-believe at all. Um, it appears in films under the skin where a pitch black alien is wearing a suit uh, to lure men in her house where they sink naked into her black goo floor. Black goo in Lucy where the drug causes her character's pure unrestricted consciousness to become wormhole like black lava eyes that reaches across the span of the cosmic time. And though the goo, she can stop and rewind the entire series. She cannot, she can mind travel back to the past and the future where her fingers touch her primate ancestors. And uh, Lucy becomes a memory stick. Look, the arrival. This has all happened before. That, I've never seen this. Under the skin in 2014. Have you ever seen something like this? I really haven't. Um, look how it looks. Oh, this looks like that ring in the sky. You remember seeing that ring in the sky that people see in a, a, a dark ring in the sky? Let's see if we can, um, dark ring in the sky. Oh, we can see it. There you go. Why, why, come on now. Why? Look at this. Look at the shape that it's taking. Come on. Come on, you all. There's something to this. There's something to this. It is a parasitic like life form. Let's come back to this. Um, where was that one that I was at? Let me put this link in here so you all can see it because um, this is wild. What, they would show this in a, um, a movie. And then here um, we're seeing it in. Where, where are we at in this movie right here you all? Come on, right here. We're seeing it in this movie right here. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's get this going, you all. This is not a, a joke. This is... Oh, they, they said I have too many um, things. Uh, this link probably will not work. But you can you can type in the dark ring in the sky. It wouldn't... It was too many characters for it to fit in here, you all. But I'm going to... I'm going to put this movie that shows the dark ring in the sky. Okay, there it is right there. You all please and be kind because this is a serious video. I don't come on here just to play around. I don't. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Okay, I'm, I'm not on here to play. I'm not. I'm on here. This is very serious what's taking place in this movie. You have an inky black circular logograms uh, secreted by the aliens in Arrival. Right here. In Arrival. Um, you have comic books. You have this, you have this, 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 Star Trek, you have them a uh, symbiote, symbiotic taking over of Tom Hardy's character in Venom, in Venom. Um, you have uh, the Nightmare King, the Black sn Smoke Monster, um, the Black Goose Hole Chemical Waste in Manga, Dora Handro. Uh, so there seems to be a lot of this, you all. A whole lot. Look, oil, black oil, fat tar, tar baby. You know, beer rabbit and tar, briar rabbit and tar baby. 
that's really I never heard of that until um, I was a, a teenager and I heard about this story about briar rabbit covered in black gooey tar baby this is a book my my brother-in-law actually um, told me about that when I was a teenager 1946 19 46 1947 is when uh, Admiral Byrd went around that time down to the center of the earth and um, you also had um, the Roswell incident you did you had the Roswell incident I'm gonna make this copy this in here the Roswell incident you had the uh, Israel becomes a nation um, you have um, all kinds of stuff that happened you well this is this is serious what's happening so this black goo is everywhere right here and in the movies you've seen it in the Egyptian tunes the global future if you wish to understand the universe 2020 2045 transhumanism black goo and more jallions um, okay so we've um, looked at this a lot and this black goo oh this I had black goo here in this show right here um, I didn't know they had black goo in the Ghostbusters but they did obviously uh, even in the Star Trek scene you know the super soldier even gotten taken over by the black goo this thing really gets me too. the ring in the sky let's go back to that because I think that is important how did we even find that ring in the sky you all on one of these series because we clicked into it and um, I don't know what happened to it but um, it showed this in that movie right there and this is being seen all around the world look at it they think oh it's cute the airplanes just gonna fly through it it's just a uh, anomaly no it's not just anomaly it's not it is not just an anomaly I gotta come over here make sure everything is working here uh, because we've got um, I don't have my cell phone to watch the comments I don't look at this black goo and they say that the um, black goo is um, wow I did not know look at that what if right behind that sun is this you know I don't want to say it I don't want to say it I won't say it I won't I won't say it so we got the black goo the oil substance um, we've got that we've got this we've got dark matter now so dark matter FCAI scientists join forces with physicists to significantly improve things with dark matter dark matter wallpaper um, I want to find something on here dark matter die where guess night oh die die Vrahe. this is German okay didn't know they oh rotten tomatoes why did they say that like that you all so we got this dark matter right here photography it looks like um, something got opened up long lost type of dark matter could make more light look at our earth right there um, dark matter dark matter black goo black goo and dark matter um, and um, the zombie apocalypse black goo and dark matter dark magic dark matter See if there's anything on here they're probably not it's probably not a good time stamp you got the goo generation super wiki fandom right there you are we're gonna get off of this because it's too dark it's too dark to focus on but I can focus on the zombies the zombie apocalypse um, apocalypse kind of hard to spell it let's see if they pull it up you've got them talking about the zombie apocalypse and you know in some of these um, pictures you can see like yuck coming black stuff coming from their mouth 
right here. What would cause people to turn into zombies and give them life? Give them life after death. Uh, I think black goo would. I really do. I think black goo would promise them life after death, but they would not be human anymore. Um, the um, parasitic alien life form would have taken over their bodies and um, their bodies wouldn't die, I guess, unless you hit them in the head. Look how they glorify the ultimate zombie apocalypse quiz. Zombie apocalypse. Mankind survived, but not alive. Mankind survived, but not alive. But not all mankind died. Uh, the humanity didn't completely die out. So why all these movies and stuff about this? Why all of this kind of stuff, you all? Why? And um, why would you have the Egyptian tombs uh, with the black goo in them? Egyptian tombs. Because maybe they thought they were going to come to life too. They analyze the mysterious black goo. Um, they do. So um, let's do this black goo. Let's 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 look at this too. Um, the Gulf of Mexico. Um, look, there was one. Uh, 69 devastated the Santa Barbara coast, but the black goo in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's look at this. Um, and they said it was the Valdez um, thing, is what it was. The fishes got the deformed eyes and something. There was an article on here that spoke about um, black goo being down in there, you all. And uh, perhaps uh, it's not meant for me to focus on that right now. But it was like they could not put it out. And people may say, well, Gina, that's because it wasn't just, it was just oil. And oil is hard to um, put out. Look at the poor people. Uh, oil spill in China. Man nearly drowned in the oil spill. And that's what light black goo looks like, too. Um, and then you get the black hole. Scientists detect the most massive black hole collision. You got that going on. You've got these um, dark rings in the sky that was in a movie also. And then we got the um, zombie apocalypse. Zombies. People are no longer human. Something kept them alive. I think it is a um, parasitic human life form. Human uh, parasitic alien life form that... Um, is keeping all of these zombies, these people who should be dead, alive. It's not letting them die. No matter what happens to their body, they're being kept alive by this uh, dark matter, this black goo, this parasitic alien life form um, that does not like humanity at all or probably any biological life form in its original state. It wants to alter its state is um, what I think it wants to do. This black goo, this um, parasitic alien life form. That's, what I, that's what's in my mind today. A parasitic alien life form that um, will alter humanity and bring about a zombie apocalypse. You, you won't be able to die. Your body will be resurrected, but you won't be you anymore. You will be that life form void of any uh, humanity at all any consciousness, any soul, any anything totally taken over um, is what will happen. Zombies. Uh, let's look again. Black goo in the movies. In the movies. Let's do it. In the movies. Look at all these movies of black goo. Look at my That is gross, disgusting. Black goo from the mouth of the pirates in the Caribbean. They never died, you all. Is this on me? Did I have that on that screen? Or I'm sitting here talking to myself. They never died. They never died in these movies. 
why so many movies in Prometheus? That is just, I, don't, I did not. Is that Prometheus? Look, he's got gills. Last engineer. Many worlds have been crafted. Um, yours is the only star child. Prometheus script. Black goo. Archives. The monster archives. Black goo. Goo Archon. Archonic energies. Could it be that these archonic entities, alien parasitic entities, um, are taking over bodies? Could it be? Um, it could be. It really could be. Somebody said on my um, Facebook You've gone too far, Gina. You've gone way too far. Now I believe that you're paid. You're a paid, whatever it is, a paid agent. Someone else said that to me on the YouTube. You're a paid agent. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh, you are. I'm not. I'm just, um, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to look into that. You are. We don't want to look into that. Why would they make movies like this? Der Black Goo Mythos Labyrinth. Why would they? That black goo brings life. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he had black goo on him. But you had... Um, what is the black goo? Too much talk about it. Is that Picard? Um, and they got black goo in him too. Is that what happened? It's an entity. It's an alien entity. And uh, you can call it demons. You can call it demons or anything like that if you want. You can call it demons. Um, I'm about done with this video. It's it's getting it's getting old, you all. It is. And you know, if you don't agree with this, fine. You don't have to agree with it. Um, but this is what I feel led to speak about: black goo. Uh, it, it's it been around since ancient times. Since ancient times. And it's it's a sentient a life form. And it, ha it has to be like symbiotic. You heard um, Elon Musk. Symbiotic relationship. That's what he said. Like a symbiotic relationship. With um, whatever this is. And, and black goo is intelligent. Is uh, what it is too. Um, yeah. Um, you all are in, um, look, G look at we are. Gina is an agent, of course. Um, think whatever you want. You go right ahead. Think what you want. You don't want to even look at the, the spiritual side of things, what's really happening. You don't have to. You don't. And really, this is not my main subject matter anyhow. But it, it's like a... Has something to do with aliens and spiritual... Spiritualness and what's going on in the world. It's um, got turned upside down. It did. Totally upside down. And if you think uh, awareness is fear... You are sadly mistaken. And you don't have no... You don't have a place on this channel. Uh, you don't. Uh, anyone else want to, um, yeah, alien technology? It's intelligent. Yeah. Well, that, yes, um, it's, it's silly, but they can think whatever they want. If I'm an agent, it's an agent of the uh, Most High God, uh, of Source, of Love, of the Light. The Army of Light. How about that? The Army of Light. I'm a light being in this body. And, um, yeah. That's right. That's right. Ant Antarctic monkey. That's exactly right. Yeah. Um, uh, Susan, honey, thank you for being on here. I know you, you didn't have to get on here and, and read all this. You all, this is serious with some what's been shown in the movies because it's like it's been glorified right there in your faces black goo dripping down off of people's eyes off their mouth and 
zombies uh, coming back to life, and you have the um, black goo like substance uh, in the Egyptian tombs, and you have black goo falling from the sky in Michigan. And who knows what came of that? Who knows? Uh, no one knows. They don't. Um, Moonfall, Nanotech. There was another shift last night. Your Discord, uh, Indio Mama. Uh, you know, um, a long time ago, I think it's like a year or two ago, a couple years ago, I had this strange dream that um, I looked down at my knee and um, I pulled a black, like, string-like thing out of my knee. I ripped it right out. Is um, It was in my dream. I said, that is the strangest dream-like thing. And I, I immediately, like, woke up. Black goo on your car in Iowa. Uh, greetings, everyone. Yeah. Lucy has to tell us his plans. Um, Stiletto, Czar. I don't know what Lucy they were talking about. Is it Lucille Ball on that show, Lucy? Because um, I don't watch TV or movies, so I, I wouldn't know. What? Cynthia McDonald, you saw a commercial a while back, and it was Family Kitchen. Drinking black goo from the kitchen faucet. Oh, my gosh. Um... Oh, oh, they they call Lucy Lucifer. Oh, okay, I've got you. I've got you. Um, yeah. Zombies coming back to life is code for the masses waking up from being asleep. But in case of the zombie apocalypse, um, it's a totally different um, scenario is what it is. Yeah, hello there. Um, oh, stilettos are. That's wonderful. I, I like that. Okay, yeah, I do like that. You converse with it outside your house. Um, wow. That's interesting. It really is. Um, there's bots. Oh, you didn't get uh, Miss Miss Smithy. Um, that's all right. I guess it's all right. It, there's nothing I can do. Um, it, Stephanie Paget. It's um. It's before I even heard of that. I I did. I pulled it out of my knee in my dream state. It was my left knee. Is what it was. Um. Susan, honey, there's a lot of interesting comments. You're right. Yeah. So uh, I am gonna go. I'm gonna go. But really, if you think about the zombie apocalypse, something is keeping them alive because they're no longer human. Their bodies have been taken over by a um, parasitic, which means it has to live in parasitic alien life form who needs a host and without that host it's going to cease to exist until um, it finds another host um, yeah yeah turning you into a robot all right you all yeah they're alive and they are intelligent they really are it might as well um, just raise awareness. This is not fear. And um, I don't live in fear. I don't. Carbon beings. Um, hmm. Yeah. Viper and snakes. Um, like a reptilian suit you all. Yeah, thank you all for your comments. I am going to go. Um you got some comments coming on there that's great you i'm gonna go um so with that with that being said thank you again and um whoopsie gina uh, hello wherever you are in any part of the world 
hello from my heart to yours love you have a wonderful rest of your day and um thank you susan honey for um doing those comments over here because um, there was a lot of comments is uh yeah thank you all love you <laughs>